Hey everyone, it's Zach here with another episode of Hope for Master Ball. Now we are continuing right where we left off in the last episode. We are able to win one of those two games. And that's the problem I'm coming across when we're recording. Uh, I definitely have a backlog of videos I need to edit and then publish to YouTube. Uh, so I'm working in advance. But I don't want to only play two matches a day because I want to get to Master Ball. So I'm in that point where I, I want to play more matches, but I have to record them because I'm not at Master Ball yet. So I don't want to be like, oh, hey, welcome to Hope for Master Ball. We made at Master Ball, but we didn't record it. Anyways, we are using our Colossal team and we are going to go ahead and continue battling. So our first opponent is going to be found. Pero. Piro, and here's a tough one. I think we go Trick Room again. Does Laurentis get beat up? That's the really only thing I could see on this team getting beat up. But then again, Terrakion's good even without. beat up you could run assault vest you can run a weakness policy which is why the tracking is why i didn't lead colossal because so many pokemon on that team the drake is all the dura they carry max quake sharp peak and wide lens so do you max here because I don't want to fake out the Drake result if it's not going to max. So I'm going to fake out the Talonflame and try to set Trick Room. And you're actually choosing not to max, probably because you realize that Trick Room is going to get up. But you do land the Bolt Beak. So here, I, I want to try to burn the Drake result, and I want to hit it with an Ice Shard to do as much damage as possible. So we go ahead and Ice Shard the Drake result, and do decent damage, and we get the burn. Awesome. And you're going to go ahead and Bolt Beak the Sneasel. And you're going to go ahead and taunt. But we have already burned the Drake Result. So that's not too bad. The thing is, do I want Dragalge or Gastrod on here? I don't immediately have to Dynamax. So I'm just going to play it from here. Oh, Talonflame hangs on. Dragon Claw. That does really good damage. Wow. Okay. So Talonflame's going to go down. We did not waste our Dynamax, though. And at least Dusk, uh, Dusclops should shake off this Taunt in two more turns. So we'll have to deal with one turn where we're not... Or loot on. Okay. 
So we have two more turns of Trick Room. Two more turns of Taunt. That actually really works out. So I just want to Nightshade the Draco's ult, and I want to Earth Power the Duraludon. What physical mons did you have? You had Terrakion. So we're going to Nightshade and take out the Drake Assault. And we're going to Max Quake the Duraludon. And just one-shot it. Awesome. And you disconnect. Okay. So I want to say Terrakion was probably your last Mon. I hope they give us the win for that. And we don't have to wait for it. Yeah, you rage quit. So we brought it back up to 10 and 10. Which means I'm probably going to lose the next one. Because uh, that's usually how it goes. Our next battle is Ad at a rank 10. And this team, wow. I think we really have to be concerned with the Lola Marowak because it can hit really hard. We can't burn it. And unfortunately, Dusclops is going to have to take damage turn one because I think we're going to need to taunt the Amoongus. Ice Q, though. I hope we see Ice Q. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too upset getting beat by an Ice Q. Do we lose here to a Max Ghost? Oof. I'm going to switch in Gastrodon and taunt the Amoongus. Impulter, guys. So, we lose our Rindo Berry. And we almost lose our Gastrodon. I think I just want to surf in Muddy Water. We are not min speed gastro, I believe. Oh no. But you go after the Sneasel. So we could take out the Marowak here. Oh, and we missed the Amoongus. We do take out the Marowak. Palm Puff is going to go ahead and knock us out. Huh. 
How do we deal with this Amoongus? I want to say the Rome could nasty plot. And you have to be worried about Bulldoze. Even though we're not weakness policy. So you're going to max the Rotom here. How many more turns does Amoongus have of Taunt? Because I definitely want to max Lightning before the Taunt wears off. You're going to go ahead and get an Airstream. Dragalge takes that, though. So Rotom handles that, but we do get a special attack boost. And you go ahead and heal the Rotom. Good strat. So you shook off the taunt. So here I want to max lightning. And Nightshade. I really don't benefit from burning any of these Pokemon. Oh, come on. You're plus one speed and you still outspeed Dragalge. And Trick Room. So we have to hope for the turn one wake up. If not, I think we just lose. Oh, thank you. It's not much, but... No more Spore. So I think the Moongus is the threat here. I kind of wish we had Protect on Dragalge. But then we couldn't use it, like, we couldn't use it with the Assault Vest, so. Because sometimes I want to lead Dragalge in Dusclops, like, just to put that presence. Uh, but there's, there's no Protect, so. Good, I, I double targeted into you anyway. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, shiny ice cube. Its ice head is only broken by physical attacks, right? We're gonna pain split. We're gonna side pain split to try to keep Dragalgy alive. Yes, thank you. So let's just sludge bomb and trick room just in case Dragology survives. Oh, we take that. And your life orb, so I mean I knew that like you weren't gonna put the damage out that you needed to because your gouge is assault vest. So I I just kinda left the Rotom alone because it all it could do. All all it could do was max airstream as an effective move and you you speed up your your side. So in Trick Room that's making you move slower and slower, and that was that helped us when Dragalgy woke up get that max lightning off because if you wouldn't have speed boosted uh, Amoongus would have just been able to spore the Dragalgy or the Dusclops again so uh, they were actually hurting themselves more by using Airstream but we're gonna try one more I think if we if we win this next one we can get into Master Ball so I want to see if I can get them Get it in one episode. You know, here's another one. Just trick room. And you're you're going to prep. You're going to prep for the colossal. The only thing I have to worry. About, well, no, it looks like this is probably Sableye's uh, Swift Storm Bear Scooter. So we don't have to worry about Propeller Tail, ignoring Storm Drain. Yeah. I do have to worry about Sableye, like, turn one taunt. Bear Scoot is going to go ahead and max. Does it get a fairy move? Does it get play rough? Oh, you do taunt. And you bring you bring up the rain yourself. We see that the bear scooter's life orb. So here, I want to use Dragalgy, uh, switch into Gastrodon, I mean. And let's Surf. Because if you max Geyser again, 
we go into plus two. There's the Duraludon. on. Please Max Geyser again. Yes. Critical hit on the Barracuda, crit matter. I just want to get as much damage as possible. And there's a chance you switch back in Sableye. But if we can get plus three special defense on our Gastron, we might be in a good position here. We do have to watch out for the Max Knuckle. Max Quake. Ooh, that Draco Meteor hit it hard. We take out the Duraludon though. Maybe we should have aimed at the Barracuda. I want to taunt the Sableye, so if Sneasel gets knocked out, we could always set Trick Room. Oh, you take us out. Okay. Let's bring out Jigalgy. Because what's Sableye doing? Gastron lives. Jurgrouchy should take it out because the bear scoot is pretty frail. Sableye is not sashed. Okay, so we knock out the Barracuda. I honestly didn't think my Gastron was living, so that turn turned out super great. Serena.
The thing is here, you can't hit both of my Pokemon. So you either triple Axel, the Dragalge, or you drop kick the Gastrodon. Triple Axel. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, goodness. With adaptability, we should take out the... Oh, yeah, we're taking out the Serena. Unless we miss a Sludge Bomb. Nope. Okay. Three episodes, another three... You disconnected, didn't you? If this man DC glitched me, did they fix that? There better be an update. Woo! Master Ball rank. Four thousands, uh, not bad. I've definitely entered in Master Ball higher. I usually don't stay high up. But we did it in 22 episodes. That is 12 less than it took the Copperaja team. So I hope you guys made it this far in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it to Master Ball with this Colossal team, which became a Gastrodon team. It really did. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.